There is no such thing as Zoom fatigue. Why do I know that? Because I just read an article that dating at the workplace has actually gone up during the pandemic. So in other words, more people are dating at work right now online than before the pandemic. How crazy is that? So don't talk to me about Zoom fatigue. The real challenge is bad content or lousily organized meetings. And that's why I wanted to share with you a few strategies and techniques that you can use to immediately create a different experience for your audience. My name is Andrew Lawless. I'm a certified high performance coach and best selling author. And let's face it, online meetings are here to stay. They're not going away ever because the easiest way of communicating, sharing, teaching and selling anything is to meet online. Just hop on, learn, share, exchange ideas, and then you move on. Compare that to earlier days where we had to go to the airport, sometimes for just an hour meeting with a client because it was so important. And you were traveling for a day or two to make that happen, right? So less and less people are willing to do this now because they see how well this works and they have also learned how to make it work. Experience matters. So what I want you to do is not think of your meetings as meetings, but as experiences that you create for your audience. And that experience has at least three elements. The first one is the quality of the content. Most meetings have bad content. And that's true for team meetings, project meetings uh, at work that we've had even before the pandemic. I mean, how often were we sitting in meetings where we thought, what are we doing here? <laughs> so, right? And the only reason we, we were in the meetings because our boss wanted us to be there or our, a peer of our boss thought it was a good idea if you just listened in. Uh, and we had nothing to contribute, nothing that we could take away from that meeting. And it was a waste of time. And when we meet online, that frustration is being amplified, right? Because nobody has that patience anymore, but also they have the opportunity right now to do other things, right? To switch off the video, uh, check their emails, check their phone notifications, check any other alerts that they have uh, and take action, right? If you, there's a project manager on the team who uh, feels he or she doesn't belong there and there's a client with an urgent complaint, you have lost <laughs> as a meeting facilitator. So uh, make it relevant and build, structure your meeting in a way that it keeps people engaged. And that brings me to the next point, energy. The energy that you bring to the meeting changes everything. You can have the most interesting content in the world. If your energy is lousy and low, people will go down with it, right? But if you keep bringing the energy and keep people getting up in their spirits and in their thoughts and in their how they feel in their bodies while they're there, the whole game changes. It's also true for you if you're a participant, right? So how many participants do we know when they come to the meeting and they drink and they eat and then they switch off and they go somewhere else and so on. And I'm not talking about the cat right, <laughs> that jumps on the desk. We all know that that is the new normal, right? So the, the cat jumping on the lap, the dog chewing up important papers, uh, the kids crying in the background, the FedEx guy coming and... Uh, you need to answer the door because you need to sign it or whatever. We know that those things ha are happening. That is okay. But the behavior while we, are, uh, while we have the ability to be focused matters equally. And third, if you're the facilitator, keep engaging your audience throughout. Most important piece of advice that I got is keep the hands busy all the time. That's why experienced facilitators, they ask the audience, like, right away, tell me where you're from, but where do you live? Give me, give, give me a three words of how you feel today, or, or, or give me a yes so that I know that you hear me. Uh, for two reasons, A, so that they know where the chat box is, but B, it's even more important, if you do not keep the hands busy, what are they gonna do? Eventually, they will go to the phone they will go to the keyboards, right? And do something else with their hands. So the number one thing that you can do right away to bring your online meetings right to the next level is to keep your people's hands engaged at all the time. 
Here are a few other things uh, that I, might, I want you to consider. One is to learn how to acknowledge the pain of your audience. There's too many meetings that I'm attending where people tell me about their vision and their product and uh, now how great the new plans are and how better life will be once we get there. But rarely does a meeting start with, I hear you. And describing the world of your audience in their words through their eyes. That makes such a difference because that also tells the audience, I'm heard, I'm being seen. It's relevant that I'm here. Second, I'd like you to consider is go right into hands-on work. And that may mean into a breakout room and share successes from the last week or share frustrations or share insights from last week. Have them go into breakout meetings, have some kind of peer coaching there as well, which is super valuable because we know that peer coaching is much more impactful than any other type of coaching that you can give at work. Right, so but they go into the meeting. It's very easy now to, no, not easy right now to um, leave the meeting, right? Because you have you're supposed to talk, and if you're not showing up, uh, you're being called out, right? So so get them right into hands-on work. For some, that may mean a worksheet, right? So that you draw something and they uh, fill in the blanks or fill in some other graphics or color out paper, whatever, right? We're going to coloring here, but keep the hands busy all the time. Do not have too long periods where people are not engaged with their hands or engaged with each other or with the content. So if you cannot do that all the time or often enough, then get them out of their chairs much more often than, than uh, we, we do right? uh, in, in normal meetings. It's not good in normal meetings either to sit uh, too long, and we all sit too long, but for online meetings, it's especially important that you get them out of their state. Why? Because sitting, you sit like that, or like that, or like that, right? It just drains your energy. Whereas when you stand, yeah, it feels different. You bring a different energy to the meeting, but also the audience gets a different level of alertness. And you can do a few things, right? You can, you can just have them for, for a minute, just balance on their, or bounce on their feet, and then clap 20 times, right? So you can do the Tony Robbins thing, you know? or you can do the running in place exercises that I'm doing with uh, uh, my audience all the time. And every single meeting where I do this in the beginning, I get positive feedback about the amazing energy throughout. Talking about energy, too many online meetings start very energetically and then they drop off, right? So, and then it goes up more and then it becomes very, very monotone, either the speaking or the presentation or the conversation. As a meeting facilitator, you have to be aware at every given time about your own energy levels. And when you feel it's going down, you need to bring that intention and you need to make an effort to bring that energy up. Because energy does not come naturally, right? You need to generate it and you need to set that intention to bring that energy up. And that will rub off on your audience. Start doing this right away. And you will see the moment you bring up the level of your content, you bring the energy to the meeting, you keep people engaged, and you will get them out of the chair and you change their state all the time, you would see a totally different level of attendance, people will want to be there, and people get much more out of the meeting. So try it, let me know how that worked. If you have any other techniques that have worked for you, please share that with me, either here or here or here, I don't know where you see this, right? But Share with me your successes, share with me your frustrations, but most importantly, just share with us 